my name's Joan Staggs. I teach at Gilgandra High School and I teach Community and Family Studies. I've done that for a long time and I've marked for a long time. Um, won't tell you how many years, but in both the marking role and the senior marking role. Uh, I enjoy it enormously and I hope I've got things to tell you today that will be of benefit to you. Um, I'm sure that there are people out there that have never had a marker for their teacher and this is that's why I'd like to explain to you about that process. Um, it's, I always say to my students, one of those things that you have to remember that the teacher has been teaching all day, then they get in their car and they come to the marking centre and they start marking from four o'clock in the afternoon till nine o'clock at night. So if your writing is illegible and difficult to understand, you're going to make it hard for yourself to get marks. So try to think of them, think of yourself. You want to get the best possible marks out of it. So really do concentrate on making it as easy to read as you can as possible. I actually advocate underlining keywords, but make sure that the keywords you're underlining are actually related to the question, because if they're not, you're going to show that marker that you're off the track. So be very conscious of that when you're answering your questions. Um, I know with people with the five minute reading time, I advocate you go through and have a look at where you feel most comfortable. Some people start to worry about what's in the multiple choice questions, don't. It's only 20 marks. You've got to think about where the marks are that you're going to do well in and try and settle down and be comfortable. Look at an area that you think well in the option. Yes, I really do know about that and I'm going to do well. Try and give yourself a little bit of confidence about it. If you've been practicing, as again I advocate with my students to do, if you've done a lot of practice, you really probably will feel comfortable in the areas that are being examined. We go back then to thinking about dot points in the syllabus. Make sure you're very familiar with those. I advocate to my students, go to that syllabus document constantly and see, do I know what those points mean, what the outcomes are, what I should be working on to achieve what the markers want me to do. Another point I'd like to make to students is that when you are, are making comments in your answers, please don't make value judgments. If it's a parenting and caring question and you are going to say how dreadful it is for young mums to have their children in childcare, just remember that the person marking your exam paper may well have had to do that to be at marking. So that's not a very smart move. You shouldn't do value judgments anyway, and I'm sure none of you would, but just a piece of warning, a little warning to you that that's not a really sensible thing to do. Stick to what your question asks you to do and you will get the best possible marks. Next piece of advice I give to students is to think about yourself. Try to uh, enter the high school certificate exams having had good sleeps beforehand, having had a uh, good diet, having had lots of exercise, having a balanced life. I think that's really important because this is after all a sociology, psychology subject and I do say to my students the best uh, preparation you can do is to read the local papers, read the papers daily, watch the news, know what's going on in the world. Things are changing constantly and you need to be aware of those so that you can interpret those things in the questions because when the questions are set it is really a reflection on what's going on in the community very often. Uh, in our syllabus. So be aware of that. Prepare yourself and then think about what you're going to do in the exam. Before the exam, make sure you know about those outcomes of the syllabus. I mentioned the syllabus before, but that's what we're examining. And if you really know what those outcomes are, you can prepare yourself in your mind when you look at a question. But make sure you read that question really carefully and you do answer what they're asking you to do. Okay, in the Community and Family Studies exam, there are three sections really. The first section is the multiple choice, worth 20 marks. Now, this is actually a question, a section I hate setting in an exam because with us, I feel that usually they will give you a couple of answers that are not related to the question and a couple that are very close. So you've got to identify the ones that are the likely outcomes, the likely answers. But I say to my students, 
read them at least two or three times, the questions, and underline the keywords. I'm really fond of going through and seeing that you've done that because that will head you in the right direction for the answers that are expected. Often there's a trick in those questions, so be aware of that. Uh, the lower level questions, the ones that are quick and easy to answer, maybe do them when you first get into the exam, when you first start to write. I'm not that much of a fan of doing multiple choice completely. It depends on you and your comfort level. Sometimes people are better off going into the short answer section. But remember, multiple choice is worth 20 marks, but one for each one, and there's a lot of reading involved. So you might be better off if you feel really comfortable in the extended response to go to that one next. Okay, so multiple choice, um, 20 marks, the next section of our paper, section B, is worth 55 marks. And they are short answer, basically. Now, when it comes to a short answer, I'd like to show you uh, some practice examples on last year's, from last year's exam paper, the two mark, four mark, and an eight mark one, because I think it's really important that you try to get those marks. Now, there's a timing guideline at the beginning of the paper. Follow that through, because if you um, overextend yourself in one area, and I've seen this happen at Markham, people have got extra booklets, they've spent a lot of time answering, but then they've cut themselves back in another section. So it's really important, please, to adhere to those guidelines that are suggested, the timing lines. Um, if a question's worth two marks, well, you're not expecting to get any great depth in that. And they'll usually be outline, name, the lower order questions. If it's um, four to six marks, you'll have to put more details in there. With the eight mark one, that's really worth worrying about. That's really worth getting as many points in there, explaining your points, backing up with an example, making sure again, though, that you're answering the question that's asked. Look at that verb, underline it. Does it say compare? If it says critically analyse or justify your answer, they're looking for higher order ones. They are the questions that will get you band sixes. And we all want lots of band sixes, don't we? As students and as teachers, we want to see that happen. So that's my guarantee of how you get them, is really looking at the question, first and foremost, and then answering what is asked. Not what you're thinking about, but what does the examiner want in that answer? Okay, when you get to the um, ex option question, which is the last question on the paper, please do the option your teacher has taught you. That will be either individuals and work, family and societal interactions, or the social impact of technology. Now you know which one it is, which one you should answer. With that, that's generally in three parts, and one part is an extended response. Now if you're very, very happy with that, start writing some dot points down somewhere on a piece of paper if they come to you while you're doing the rest of the paper because that's a 25 mark question and it's worth putting, particularly if the extended response is worth 15 marks, it's worth putting those answers in. Somewhere in the process of this marking, you will be graded on whether you're a band five or band six. Yes, I don't even contemplate going lower than that. That's the sort of marks that we're trying to aim for. So please people, if you've something occurs to you that's related to that question, write it down so that you don't forget to put it in later on. Mm -hmm.